So sometimes when you're digging, you, you've got a flooded yard. What we're doing is we're installing a backyard sump pump and you can see all the water in here. What you can do is set up your sump pump temporarily. We've already set our pump down in there and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and basically we're gonna just pump out this water. So you can see, just you know, instantly kick on. You've gotta hold that float up though to keep the water, keep, keep it pumping. It's gonna take a few seconds, it'll fill back up again and then you're able to pump out enough water where you're able to dig. Let it, fill up a lot. Let it fill up a lot. So it takes a couple minutes for it to fill up, but we're just, we're just using the pump that we're installing. We'll clean it off on the bottom so the impeller is all good, and it should work really good here. One thing about the Zoller, people ask it all the time. See right there? See that water coming out? They've got a built-in pressure relief. You don't necessarily have to drill a hole right here like other pumps. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a backyard sump pump with a French drain, the gravel drain. We're going to be using the new Easy Flow, which is the styrofoam peanuts that encase the perforated pipe. We're going to put a sump pump in. We're already temporarily discharging that because the area is so flooded. You can see our pipe back there. And what we need to do is pump this area out so we're able to dig the sump pit. And you can just see this water flowing is really flooded back here. You know, you think that sandy soils soak up water, but here's an example of it does not. And once that ground becomes saturated, there's no place for that water to go. And because we're so deep, we're going to put a sump pit in right here, bring the downspout drain and the yard drain, which is picking up this flooded area right here, to a sump pit right here by the AC, inch and a half pipe, goes underground. Over here at the downspout, we'll go straight down, four inch pipe, it'll come out to a pop-up at the sidewalk, and we'll attach our sump pump to this downspout drain. So when cutting off your sod, if you want a really straight line, lay out a piece of pipe. Remember that you need to be a shovel wide, you know, so that you can take the sod off, and just follow that pipe. Simply kick it in the ground, or if you're strong enough, you've got a sharp shovel, you can just use it as a spade and make a line. We're going to do about 10 feet, then we'll come back and we'll cut off one foot sections. So again, you can see my line on both sides of the pipe. This is the section of the side that we're going to cut out. We're going to lay out some plastic for the dirt on one side and put the sod on the other. You cut off both sides, cut off a strip, slide your shovel under, break it free, and then just flip it over. Make a nice trench of sod because you want to put that back nicely. It takes a few extra minutes when you're trenching, but Hopefully the result is going to look really good so that in a week or so you can't even tell that somebody dug through the yard. That's the idea. Now we can start trenching. Remember that you work backwards. We need to be about a shovel deep. and you just set your dirt on the plastic for easy backfill. We're just gonna pour that back in. So repeat that process working backwards, take out a shovel at a time, then come back through using your body weight. Use that shovel against your body, slide it, scrape it clean, and you've got a perfect depth and perfect trench. Be weary of irrigation lines, which I just <laughs> which I just found. Once you find it, that's going to determine your 
depth. So you just have to be careful what you're pushing that shovel through. I'll show you here in just a second. But yeah, we're plenty deep in that. So you can see that white pipe. This is the irrigation line and it's it's perfect. It's well below where we want to be. Our pipe will lay right across the top of that. We're about a foot deep. You can see my foot go down into the trench. We're about a foot deep. Perfect level. We finish this right out here to the sidewalk. Put the pop-up on there and this little section's done. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and drill our discharge. You can see here's the trench for the discharge right behind the sump base and the sump liner. This is a two inch hole saw and that's the exact outer diameter of the inch and a half PVC. So I'm going to start off at a little angle just to get that pilot started. Maybe. <laughs> Once we get the pilot started, we can start to drill a straight hole. Perfect. And you can see it's a perfect size fit for our inch and a half pipe. It's very snug and secure in there. So let's go ahead and run some pipe and we'll tie it into the sump pump, which we've already set down into the pit. Okay, let's slide our discharge pipe down into the sump basin. You can see how it comes in. And now all we need to do is make the measurement from the check valve up to the discharge inch and a half. Remember that inch and a half pipe, that discharge is going to run all the way out to the front. It's going to tie into the downspout drain and from there gravity takes over. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and finish the hookup of the sump pump. Good amount of glue. Put some on the fitting and on your pipe. Then all we need to do is just slide it together twist and hold and we're all set so let's review real quick we've got a Zoller M53 at the bottom of the pit <clears throat> we put a small riser on it right here to bring it up to the check valve <clears throat> we just want to get it the check valve above the float so that's nice and secure on and off switch <clears throat> the check valve arrows pointing upwards we secured that more with no hub bands to a small to a small riser, then a 90, and then inch and a half pipe discharge, and now we're ready to plumb this on out. Okay, so we're getting ready to cover. Just kind of want to review again real quick. You can see here, this is also a perforated pipe with a little gravel around it, mostly because it's coming right beside of the air conditioner slab, and I don't want that to erode. So we went ahead and put some fabric around that, a little bit of gravel. That all comes into the sump pit, Sump pump lifts it up and sends it all the way out to the front. You can see we've added a couple of catch basins. These are just six inch round catch basins. Remember that catch basins, they grab surface water, immediate surface water runoff. And the French drain, which is the styrofoam peanuts in this case, grabs the, sur the subsurface water. And it works great. I've had such great success with the styrofoam peanuts that I'm just going to start using it all the time. It is costly but well worth it. So another catch basin, a little bit more styrofoam peanuts, French drain, and this line runs back and picks up the downspout in the back. Okay, so here at the end of the line, this is our pop-up. We've got everything connected. The line goes all the way back. It's gonna start, you know, this gravity starts here at the front downspout, and then the PVC, if you can see it back there, comes into the gravity and then flows downhill. So to put your pop-up on, we went ahead and got an adapter here it snaps in place it's got the barbs and this adapter you can see it's tapered it'll slide right into the four inch 90 we're going to put a set screw in there and you can see how it's going to sit right here as water comes down the line it's just going to lift up this pop-up if i can pull it up with my fingernails it's going to lift up the pop-up and it'll just disperse right out here across the sidewalk so there's the completed drain. Now we're just going to cover and we're all done. Okay, so we're backfilling. We'll put some more soil right there around that catch basin. But you can see how well it comes out. The sod, and again, if you step on this sod, it's just going to sink right back down. In a matter of a couple of hours, it should be back to where it was. 
but yeah it's dried up really well and um just everybody's taking a little break i wanted to go back over it again we've got the styrofoam peanuts used as our french drain we've got our catch basins grabbing the surface water and the french drain grabs the subsurface water that all comes around and ties into the sump pit which lifts it up and sends it all the way out to the front hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day forget about our live help video consultation via Skype get the help you need for your drainage project sign up online